People have debated for years what role system plays in our games, and if the system employed really has much effect at all. Quite a lot of thought has been put into it, and at least one essay. <laughs> It's been about 14 years since Ron Edwards put forth an essay regarding the role of system in gaming. And this is an essay that refers specifically to tabletop RPGs. And in this case he says system refers to the method used to resolve what happens in play. And the system has to work both in terms of the players and their characters. The opinion challenged in Ron Edwards' essay is that a game is only as good as the people who play it. And that a choice between games is merely a matter of taste. A lot of the argument is based off of the threefold model, which has later been referred to as GNS theory. This is going to be something that we'll go into at a later episode, but for now we'll cover a few brief topics. GNS theory suggests that there are three basic types of gamers. There are the gamists, who are satisfied if the system includes a contest which he or she has a chance to win. There's also the narrativist, who is satisfied if the role-playing session results in a good story. And finally, we have the simulationist, who is satisfied if the system creates a little pocket universe without fudging. The first thing this essay suggests is that an RPG cannot satisfy all three. For example, how long does conflict resolution take? A gamist will allow for delays that provide tactical choices. A narrativist will allow for delays that provide greater detail and accuracy. And a narrativist will not accept delays. Or how about, does the game require balance? A gamist would say yes, a simulationist would want it to be true to the fiction of the game, and a narrativist doesn't care. In his essay, Ron Edwards states that a game attempting to satisfy all three elements is going to leave almost any player dissatisfied. This essay also suggests that there are a variety of different ways that we can resolve our conflicts. We can use fortune, which is dice. We can use karma, which is comparing fixed values. Or drama, which is to narrate out the scene. Where we use these systems and how long it takes to resolve an action using that system determines a lot about the game itself and how much bookkeeping might follow it. The conclusion of this essay is that a game designer should know what type of experience the game is designed to provide and focus on that experience. Now I would be remiss if I didn't add that Ron also appeals to detractors to play a wide variety of different systems before reacting strongly to this essay. The System Matters essay helped play a role in the foundation of The Forge, a forum created to help people design and publish their own games. The ideas within are credited with playing a role in the creation of many fantastic games. Further theories have been put forth as well. One example is game designer Jaron Sorgensen's Big Three Questions, which are meant to be asked to prospective game designers. Those questions are, what is your game about? How does it go about that? And what behaviors does it reward or encourage? Game designer John Wick likes to add a fourth question as well, that being, how do you make this fun? Given that this essay is more than a decade old, it sometimes surprises me that arguments still exist over whether or not system really matters in RPGs. To me, this is a given. If system didn't matter in role-playing games, it'd be the only example I could think of where our behavior is not affected by the structures surrounding us. This is, at least in my mind, related to the field of cognitive engineering. For those unfamiliar with that field, I have linked an explanation of the crash of TWA Flight 514 and the creation of the ASRS as an example of how this works. Through this essay, and others like it, theories began to appear to attempt to explain how role-playing games work. Over the next few episodes, I'd like to try to explain these theories as we move toward the conclusion of this series. Relevant links are below, and as always, I hope that your next game is even better than your last.